everybody. This is Corey with Aspen Grove Studios, and today I'm going to give you an overview of our uh, newest product, and it is uh, the Aspen Roots Child Theme. And uh, this child theme is for both, uh, we offer versions for both Extra and Divi, and upon uh, purchase and, and download, you're going to receive a, a file for each, one for Extra, one for Divi. So uh, in this video, I'm going to cover, um, I'm going to cover uh, how to install the child theme, what features it offers to you, um, it, it, uh, when you install it, it creates a child theme, and there's also some uh, really nice premium features uh, that you can take advantage of. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in here, and I'll show you how to install this thing. Okay, uh, so here we are on our, uh, on our demo website, and as you can see, this is just a, a fresh installation of, uh, of Extra. Um, I don't have any um, pages or, or posts or categories or anything like that added yet. Um, so let's uh, head to the back end here. Okay, and um, you're gonna you're gonna install Aspen Roots just like you do any other WordPress theme. Um, so the first step that's very important: make sure um, whichever parent theme you plan on using, whether it be Extra or Divi, make sure you have that theme active. So in this um, in this demonstration, I'm gonna use Extra. So we have the Extra theme active, and I'm gonna go to uh, Add New Theme upload theme, choose file, and um, just just locate wherever you downloaded um, our, our theme kit from. Uh, one very important note is that when you download, uh, you, you purchase and download uh, the Roots theme, it's going to come in a main um, zip file. And within that zip file, it's going to contain both the Divi and Extra Roots, uh, as well as some documentation. So you want to make sure that you um, unzip that main file and that you're only grabbing the uh, the primary theme file. So this one is Aspen Roots Extra Zip, and we'll install that and activate. Okay, and um, this step here, uh, this is only going to occur uh, for for some users. Um, if you currently use our Aspen Footer Editor plugin. Um, you, you'll get this pop-up. This child theme has the Aspen Footer Editor built in, so the plugin will be deactivated. Your current footer information will not be lost. So basically, this footer is already built in to the, uh, to the Roots theme. It's going to deactivate your um, Aspen Footer Editor plugin. So you can go ahead, and, and as long as you're using this theme, uh, this child theme, you can, uh, you can delete that. So let's return to Dashboard. Okay, and you can now see that the uh, Aspen Roots theme is active, and um, that is pulling from the um, from the parent theme extra. Okay, uh, so let's take a look here on the front end of the site, and you'll notice that that nothing's changed as far as styling. Uh, that's because this is a, a blank child theme. Its primary purpose is to uh, install child theme files such as style.css, header PHP, functions PHP. Um, etc. Um, and also uh, to install our plugin suite, uh, which includes the Aspen Footer Editor, 404 Template Builder, and Login Page Customizer. So let's go back to our dashboard here. And first, I'm going to walk you through the, uh, the child theme files. So if you go to Appearance, Editor, you can now see that Aspen Roots is active. And uh, this is your this is your style sheet here, so you can add all of your custom CSS. And the point of this is so that none of your um, modifications will be lost when you upgrade um, or, or um, yeah upgrade extra. Okay, and you can also see over here uh, you now have a footer PHP functions header single post. And so if you have uh, if you have any modifications um, to these files, um, you can you can add those here, and they won't be overridden. Okay, uh, the next thing I'm going to show you here uh, real quick is that we have this new tab, uh, Aspen Roots. And here you have some different options, Aspen Footer Editor, Login Customizer, 404 Page Settings. And I'm, I'm going to walk you through, uh, through this uh, real quick, and then we'll go into more detail on these, um, on these options here. Okay, so uh, here in your theme options, you've got the Footer Editor. 404 template and WP login customizer. 
And each of these tabs will give you uh, a little bit more information on, on each of these features. Um, so uh, what we're going to do now is I've included um, an overview, uh, something more in-depth of all of our premium features, and uh, we're going to take you to that in this video. Uh, the first of which I'm going to cover in that video is the footer editor, and then the 404 template builder, and then the WP login customizer. So stick around if you want to learn more about these features, and we'll talk to you soon. Hey everybody, this is Corey with Aspen Grove Studios, and today I'm going to give you just a really quick walkthrough of some of the, uh, the premium features that we include in all of our uh, child themes. And uh, these features just really help you go the extra mile with customizing your, uh, your Divi website. And uh, so first let's, let's take a look here. We're going to log into um, to this site. We have our cafe child theme installed on. And you'll notice this really nice looking uh, login screen here. We have a, a custom background image, our Aspen Grove Studios logo, uh, our, some of our colors here um, for the links. And this is all done with, uh, with one of the premium features that we have um, in our child themes. So let's log in here and uh, take a closer look. Okay, so, so this site we have the, uh, as I said, the cafe child theme installed on. And uh, you'll notice here that there is a new tab for, uh, for cafe. And this will change depending on the child theme, whether it be fashion, case study, etc. All right, and let's take a look at uh, theme options. And you'll notice here uh, the footer, ed footer editor, 404 template, and WP login customizer. Uh, the footer editor, you've, you've probably seen. Um, this has been featured um, on uh, elegant themes. It's been uh, talked about quite a bit in the Divi theme users group, and it's uh, it's been downloaded as a as a standalone plugin uh, over 600 times. But um, in all of our child themes, we do include this um, as, as a bonus item. Okay, uh, so here you can um, type in your you know your um, copyright information. Uh, you can put in uh, the copyright information for the company you're designing for. You can put in your um, your web design service uh, information link to your website. Uh, we have some dynamic short codes that you can easily insert. And here I've, I've popped in the year short code. So this will display the current year and will automatically update as the year passes. So you don't have to, uh, at the beginning of the year, go through all your client sites and, and uh, change that copyright information. That, that year will automatically update for you. Okay, back to our theme options. And uh, Next on the list is the uh, 404 template. And uh, what this allows you to do is um, create your own custom 404 page, just like you would uh, creating any other page in Divi. Uh, use the Divi Builder, get really creative with your, with your layout. And uh, once that page is created and saved, uh, you'll, you'll notice it pop up here um, in this dropdown list. So let's say, uh, let's say checkout was our uh, custom 404 page that we that we created. Um, so there we would just select it from the list, hit save changes, and uh, from this point forward, every time somebody, uh, let's say they, they type in the wrong uh, URL, or you deleted a, uh, a page or a post, they'll see they'll see this uh, really nice looking 404 page instead of what uh, comes as default with, with Divi. Okay, and last but not least, we have the WP Login Customizer. And this is what uh, helped us create that really nice looking uh, login page uh, that, I, that I showed you. So here, um, it, it just makes it really easy. You can uh, upload your own background image, align the form left, center, or right, upload your, your logo in place of the uh, default WordPress logo. Um, if you don't want to use a, a background image, you can use a color. Uh, you can change the color of the links, the form background, the background image tint, and the submit button color. So once that's done and saved and you log out of your site, go to log back in, um, you'll, you'll see that really nice looking page there. So this is, uh, like I said, just a really quick overview of the, uh, the premium features that we include in all of our child themes. And uh, we do have some more in-depth videos on our YouTube channel if you want to take a closer look at, at these and, and kind of get more uh, more detailed on, on what these um, what these features do. So we hope that you enjoy and uh, thank you for your support and we'll talk to you soon.